Merry Christmas. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a part 2 of the Super Thaw unboxing and review which I'll leave a link down below in the description box. So in that first video, I ended up trying to thaw out some buffalo sauce and as promised, I did go ahead and try it out today with some steaks. So yeah, so I thought why not go ahead and post it up. I didn't want it to have it too far apart from the other video. So I did go ahead and wash it and here are the steaks. They are completely frozen. As you can tell, so definitely frozen, definitely rock hard, and it's a sirloin tip sandwich steaks. So here we have it all rinsed out with some warm water. I did go ahead and wash the board and rinse it out with warm water. So placing the steaks down, we're going to see exactly how it goes. So right now they're all frozen. And just the actual super thaw is warm. So we did remove the frozen food items from packaging. So we did that. And then I always rinse out my steaks anyways. So we rinse out the super thaw in hot water for 30 seconds. Just before thawing food. And then rinsing it out with hot water again. So we did all of that. So it does say to get better results. You can lift it about an inch off the table. I just used the container I had the steaks in, so it was about three inches off the table. So that might have made it go a little faster. By the way, from start to finish, I believe this took around 20 minutes. So don't let the four minute video fool you, it did take about 20 minutes. So I went ahead and I did a time lapse to see if you can see the difference. I'm gonna try to fix it up so you can actually see it. But if you look carefully, you kind of see that it's thawing out. So I flipped it over. So one side was definitely thawed out. The other side was still a little frozen. So they finally were able to break in half. One side, like I said, is thawed. So we're just going to place them back onto it. So I did try to place them all around the same area and like I didn't have one up and one down. I tried to have it all leveled out. So we're just doing that. And the room temperature was around 70 degrees. And then towards the end it did go down to around 67 degrees. So again, I'm pretty sure in colder weather it might take a little bit more time. But after I, I took out one side, I did rinse it off again for warm water. And then I flipped the steaks over and I went ahead and I did it again. We have one side thawed out. We're going to try doing another side. So still not very thawed out. So really it was just definitely like a waiting game. But I mean it worked. So it is all thawed out. And like I said it took about 20 minutes from start to finish. However I... I kind of pretty much just did the exact same thing on a plate. So the super thaw, I mean, if you're gifted it, then I guess it will make sense to use it. If not, it's not something that I would intentionally go out and buy. Just because this can probably cost you from about $10 to $30, depending on where you get it from. So I mean, you know, like a plate would do the exact same thing as it. So it's up to you. So I hope that this made your decision clearer, whether or not you want to get one. 
but definitely let me know in the comments down below what do you think of it now do you think it is worth trying it do you think you would buy it or gift it to someone or would you just stick with the regular old thawing out process on a plate or a cutting board so once again thank you so much for clicking on my video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments leave it down below and i'll see you in my next video welcome to vlogmas day 17